Hi, welcome to our masterclass. Today's topic is EC. It belongs to the chapter deficiencies and excesses. Actually, if you give the right nutrient brand and the right type of nutrients with the right dose, you cannot get any kind of overfeeding or underfeeding. Nevertheless, a grower can make mistakes. And by these mistakes, the plant will show you some deficiencies or excesses. A nutrient brand is a mixture of all different kinds of elements. These elements should stay in a certain balance. Besides these elements, a nutrient con a solution contains more. For example, pH regulators and trace elements. By giving a lower EC, which is a lower dose of nutrient elements, you always bring in less of these elements too. In vegetative phase, the plant needs less nutrients. So that means a grower starts to give less. Nevertheless, don't give too little, because otherwise pH can change and the pH is important for the solvability of these elements, which means the plant cannot take what you give it. Dosing the nutrients we can control by measuring the EC level, because actually we measure the concentrations of the nutrient salts. We do it by an EC meter and on the growth schedule it's mentioned as EC+. But also tap water contains some EC and together it makes the EC total, which is the total amount of nutrients you give to the plants. If the quality of the water already contains a high EC, growers often to put less nutrients in the solution. But that also means less pH regulators and less trace elements, which result in a deficiency of the elements. The plant looks a little bit pale. Although deficiency are often seen in a vegetative phase, later on when we go into the flowering, the plants will show more often an excess of nutrients. This can be caused not only because you give more nutrients to the plant, but actually these nutrients are not taken. So we'll give up a buildup in the substrate. This buildup becomes a high EC in the substrate. The plants cannot get the water anymore because of the high concentration of the salts. And that will result in curling leaves and these leaves will even start to burn. We call it an overdose of nutrients. Nevertheless, that buildup can also come from sodium, which is an element, not a feeding element, but an element in the tap water. And that element is made of salt and often makes the excesses which the plant is suffering from. Don't make mistakes in dosing. Keep the EC plus between the range which you can see on the grow schedule and make sure that the EC total is also between his range. Then you will not get any kind of deficiencies or excesses of the plant. I hope to see you in the next video of deficiencies and excesses.